You are now listening to Playbook Radio. Here is your host, Martin Williams. And welcome to Playbook Radio. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. You may do so on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. All the links to the podcast can be found at GamePlanPlaybook.com. That's GamePlanPlaybook.com. So today what I wanted to talk to you about is indecision and how indecision is the decision to fail. Now, I've done a podcast on this before, but I wanted to revisit it because it's something that I see come up a lot in my life and also in the lives of others. I truly think that indecision is a mental program. Most people have been programmed to be indecisive. And not only have they been programmed to be indecisive, they've been programmed into thinking that indecision is normal and that it is acceptable. And even though a lot of people suffer from being indecisive, what happens is that it makes your life a lot harder than it needs to be. Indecision only leads to failure. It's almost like a long, drawn-out failure process. And that's the worst type of failure process because it takes up so much time. You lose so much time being indecisive when you're much better off just making a decision. And if that decision doesn't work, you know, you can always pivot. You can always change course and do something else. But I think a lot of people are afraid to fail. I've certainly suffered from that myself and that they spend years being indecisive when, like I said, you would have been much better off making a decision and then looking at the data to tell you whether that decision was good or not. One of the things I've learned in my life is this. Good decisions get better with time. Bad decisions get worse with time. Are there exceptions to the rule? Of course there are. Just like there's people who jump out of burning buildings and they survive. But most often they don't survive or they're significantly injured while doing something like that. In the same way, there are people who make decisions and it's awful at first and then in time it gets better. <clears throat> but what those people may not often tell you is that in between it being terrible and it getting better, they made decisions along the way. Sometimes people get into a bad situation and they decide to make it better, which we all have the power to do. My point is that we're always making decisions even though we don't always realize we're making decisions. Sometimes we're making decisions subconsciously, but we're still making decisions. Indecision is not something that you want to allow to continue in your life, okay? And indecision is something you want to eliminate right away. There may be things right now that are pending your decision, things that are being held up because you won't make a decision. And honestly, you just need to make a decision and make the best decision with the knowledge that you have right now. If there's no other takeaway from this, let this be the takeaway, that if you're ever indecisive, if you ever don't know what to do, make the best decision with the knowledge that you have right now, with the data that you have right now. Don't make decisions based on data you don't have. I really can't make it any simpler than that. For instance, if someone is mistreating you and you're now making a decision whether to continue that relationship or continue that friendship with that person, you have enough data to make a decision. The data is demonstrating the type of person that this person is. So the best decision using the data that you have right now is to no longer be in a relationship with that person. And it doesn't need to be any more complicated than that. If you're making a decision as to what business to start, most business people are successful in doing things that they're either passionate about or have a great interest in. That's what makes them successful because they're interested in it and they care about what they're doing. And as a product of them caring about what they do, they become successful. So if you start a business and you get into it and you say, you know what, I really don't care about this stuff. I could really be doing something else. Okay, that's the data. The data is I don't care. So you let it go. You let someone else to do it. You let someone else uh be in that field because it's not something that you want to do. There's no reason to be indecisive. Being indecisive is a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. And in some cases, it's a waste of money. Get into the habit of making 
decisions quickly, making them completely and not being afraid to make a wrong decision because we've all done it and we're all going to do it again at some point. Don't be afraid to make the wrong decision because if you do, all you have to do is pivot and do something different. And don't be afraid to pivot when you have to. Thank you so much for listening. My name is Martin Williams. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Playbook Radio. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this podcast with family and friends. And if you're ready to take the next step in your personal development journey, consider trying mental recoding by Playbook Strategies. These short audios are designed to help you reprogram your thoughts around different life subjects, such as finances, health, work, relationships, and much more. Click the link below to explore mental recoding products to help reshape your mind.